if you really like this then why would you go back to your job especially if the job is of a nature that hinders this you have to have a place to stay you have to do we go to our jobs just to have a place to stay and to have food on the table or do our jobs exist to provide psychological fulfillment to us is it only for the sake of physical needs that we work our physical needs are small and few please look at this closely yes. and honestly we are dependent on on so many things so we need had we wanted only shelter and food would we still have slogged the way we do in our offices do we really need that much money for food no we need that much money so that the neighbor can say good things about us so that our car is at least as big as the brother's car when you want only so much then existence helps you get it just as the existence helps get the fish its food the frog also gets its food the bird gets its food the flowers get their nourishment everything in existence is able to get its basic physical sustenance very easily without having to toil only man says that just to survive he will have to work so hard no man works hard not just to physically survive but for the sake of psychological aggrandization we want to be psychologically big and that is called the ego and that is why life becomes suffering just a simple whatever takes away your peace keep dropping it and that decision is movement to movement obviously peace is so precious that you cannot trade it for anything and when you make that decision to not to trade your peace for anything you are happy it's a decision that you wanted to take next movement again something challenges your peace you stand with peace then this way all that which is unnecessary in your life will keep dropping and you will be left only with that which ensures peace that which must go away is always ready to go away but we keep clutching it and there's a simple test which i just said right whatever comes in conflict with peace deserves to go away that's the simple test if you are peaceful then you can live even with half the food that you usually take and i'm not prepared to believe given the state of development in the countries you come from that you have to think about food and shelter if an indian asks me this question that would be more relevant food and shelter yes 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 still are we so incapable we are healthy we are educated we have a sharp mind we have certain skills and experience behind us will it really be so difficult to just earn your bread 
Yes, it is. If it is, then drop the bread and let the body perish. If you will insist that it is so difficult, then I'll insist that die. What is the point in living that kind of a life? Nothing is more valuable than a still mind, than your peace. Always make the right choice. If something is filling your pockets, but draining out your heart, kindly avoid. It has <coughs> fills your pocket and drains out your heart? No, no, fills your heart. Oh. An attitude. Once in a while, that too happens. That rarely happens.